Time to take a check of your afternoon update brought to you by 45 North. Find them in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel tonight for some great apres as well as dinner and some great breakfast to fuel you up for your day enjoying the outdoors. This is brought to you by WSKITV.com as well where you can find this and much more on all your internet devices. Mostly sunny skies for the day on Wednesday. We'll see summer temperatures 20 to 24, base temperatures 33 to 37, and that wind shouldn't be an issue at all as well out there. So get out there and enjoy that nice sunshine and mild temperatures up into the mid to upper 30s down around the base. Mostly cloudy skies for the day on Tuesday. We'll see summer temperatures 31 to 35, base temperatures warming up to the lower 40s with little to no wind around there, but that south breeze will bring up that warm air and we will see a uh, maybe a little preview of spring out there friday we'll see clouds roll in a few showers in the area as you can see highs well above freezing at 47 for your high on friday 43 for your high on saturday as we see some possible rain showers in the morning then changing over to snow showers things cool down for sunday and the skies brighten up we'll see a high of 28 degrees with sunny skies out there so get up here and enjoy it should be another great weekend tuesday march 12th we're looking at 153 trails of skiing right on nine lifts getting you those runs 58 trails on your groomers list and pack powder and machine groom surfaces out there. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway, those three lifts, those will get you around the base area and below the base area at 8.30 on Wednesday morning. Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill at 8.30 as well to get you to runs down Boardwalk as well as Lower Winter's Way and as well um, Lower Narrow Gauge. Skyline and Super Quad, they get going at 8.30. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut. That allows you to branch out all across the mountain from the east to the west. And the Super Quad gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain as well. Pretty much anywhere you want to go on the hill, you can get from the Super Quad or get access from the Super Quad. King Pine and Wolf Tree, those are the east side lifts. Higher up on the mountain is King Pine, more expert terrain. And Wolf Tree down lower, more intermediate terrain. Check out Moose Alley if you've got kids, as well as the Skybound Terrain Park. Timberline, that is scheduled to go at 9 a.m. You'll see number three T-Bar on demand if needed, but I don't think that will be an issue. And wind shouldn't be an issue either, so get out there and enjoy some runs from the summit. All the trails around the base area will get groomed out tonight. Uh, the Landing, Boardwalk, Birches, Snowbrook, as well as Lower Winter's Way and Candyside. Central Mountain Trails like Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Haywire, and King's Landing, as well as Hay Burner and Gondola Line will all be groomed out. Hallback, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Wiffle Tree, Buckboard, Pole Line, Slasher, and Rollway on the east side of the mountain. And over towards the west side, you'll find Good Chance, Horseshoe, Scoot, and West Mountain, all with smooth uh, corduroy on them. First thing for Wednesday. The ice rink's open now at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Uh, that may change because of the warm-up, but they've got some great cross-country skiing going on down there as well as uh, some snowshoeing. Pickup hockey uh, may happen tonight from 6 to 8 p.m., so check that out. Every single Tuesday and Thursday that happens. And they've got fat bike rentals, which down across the narrow-gauge pathway across 27, uh, most of those single-track trails are good to go. A few of the others are still soft, but groomers are all packing snow. And if you want to get detailed info on those trails, which are good and which are not, go to carabasset.nemba.org. Arno Trail Snowmobile Club wants to let you know that the trail riding is great up north and in the surrounding areas. They've been out grooming and will do so sp uh, uh, sp periodically here within the next few days as their funds are starting to run low this time of year. Friday, 4 to 6 p.m., live music with uh, the Traveling Newberries at uh, the Bag and Kettle as well as their St. Paddy's Day uh Corn beef dinner is happening as well this Sunday, so it should be a great weekend to be hanging out at the bag. Now, before you go, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram, and we're always at our website, WSKITV.com. Be sure to tune in and check it out, bookmark it, so you can know before you go. We've got our latest qu uh, live quad cam shot on there, as well as this latest local forecast, updated twice daily, and lots of videos and information for things to do to keep you busy and informed while you're here in the main High Peaks region.